Imagine saving hundreds of hours this year. That's time you could spend doing literally anything else, like finally starting that YouTube channel. How? With AI. A recent survey studying thousands of US workers found that generative AI is already making people three times more efficient on certain tasks. The problem is, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there. AI tools that promise to 10x your productivity, but end up 10xing your monthly subscription regret. Been there. Most AI tools are either a total waste of time or they're too hard to learn to make the productivity gains worthwhile. Don't worry, I'm gonna share the AI tools for productivity that actually work for me. These are the tools that cut through the hype, automate the boring stuff, and give you back your time. But honestly, AI tools alone will only get you so far when it comes to increasing productivity. Trying to boost your productivity with AI before knowing where your time goes is like putting rocket fuel in a tricycle. It's not gonna get you very far. That's why I tell all of my clients to track their most time-consuming tasks over the course of a week. You can do this easily by using a free tool like Clockify. This makes it easier to identify the best AI tools to support or completely automate those tasks. By the way, if we haven't met yet, I'm Tam, here to help you succeed with AI. First up is Google's AI Studio. Ever wished you had someone looking over your shoulder, guiding you step by step in real time? That's exactly what Google's AI Studio does. And it's free. You'll go to aistudio.google.com. On the left side of the screen, you'll see Stream. Google's AI Studio is actually made for developers, but anybody can use it, and it's free. Log in with your Google account or create an account and select stream. From there, you're gonna select share screen and you'll have to give it permission to access your screen and microphone. But once you do that once, you don't have to do it again. I'm going to share my entire screen by clicking here, selecting entire screen, and then choose share. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, I'm wondering how can I erase this background in the image here in Canva? To erase the background in Canva, you can select the image, then look for the edit image option in the top toolbar. There you should find a background remover tool. Does that tool appear? Is it called BG Remover? Yes, BG Remover is short for background remover. Let's see if that, yes, that worked. Perfect. So this is a great way to learn new software. It's insanely useful. I use this a ton to help me learn new software like Adobe After Effects. I also recently used it to troubleshoot error messages while vibe coding. Works like a charm. Next up is the sponsor of this video, Noda AI. But Noda would be on this list anyway for the mere fact that it's super easy to use and will save you hours in manual note taking. Haven't we all wished we had a personal assistant to handle all of our meetings? With Noda AI, that wish becomes a reality. First, sign up for a free Noda account at noda.ai slash en. Once logged in, you'll see your dashboard. Of all the note-taking and transcription apps that I've tried, I genuinely found Noda to be the most beginner-friendly. There are three main ways to capture your meetings. You can choose Instant Record, which lets you record live. You can upload a recording and have it transcribed, or record an online meeting by simply adding Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or WebEx meeting links. Another bonus feature is screen recording. This feature sets Noda up apart from other AI transcription tools and has proven especially valuable for me as a content creator. Let me show you how I use Noda to maximize the value of my conversation. This is the main screen or your dashboard in Noda. There are a few options that you have right off the bat. I've already uploaded an audio file. You can see down here, uploaded records. This record was an audio file from a meeting that I had me and some colleagues when we were prepping for an AI training event. So if I click on record detail, it opens a new dashboard where you can see the conversation. On the right side of the screen is your transcript and you can play the different segments or go over here and have a summary. This is the summary. I've already selected a template, but this is a cool feature. Noda has different templates. If you click this button with a circle, square, and triangle, it opens a template library. I can't think of any other transcription tools that I've tried that have this 
this feature, but basically depending on the context of the audio file, you can select different templates and it will organize the information in that video call or audio file into that specific template. For example, the template that I'm in now is a team template. So it automatically broke this transcript up into topics. So here we have topics, event agenda and presentation content, AI tools and capabilities. And then we have review. The review just goes through and it lists the different segments. Tamara is preparing to discuss prompting techniques, AI tools and resources. What's great about the review and also the summary in general is that it has timestamps. So you can actually jump to specific moments within that transcript. If I click on that timestamp, it brings me to that exact moment in the conversation. And from there, I can push play and it will play it. No big question that we're planning or that we kind of want to address is, I mean, it's a Falcon forum, right? It's so that's really helpful when you're looking for specific information within a meeting. Then let's change this to a different template. Let's do consulting. When I click consulting, here's a template. I select use this template and it's automatic automatically going to reorganize this into a consulting template. Now I have the summary, issue, solution, question and answer, and action items. Below that, the other template that I had previously where I have topics, review, progress from the team template. What an awesome way to organize meeting notes or transcriptions of audio files. I have to show you a few more things because there's just so many ways to use this. Once we have a recording, you can also click these stars and that's the AI chat box. You you can chat with the transcription. I typed in who will be presenting first and the AI chat responded that based on the conversation, Tamara will speak for about 20 minutes about different AI tools and capabilities. She'll cover topics like different ways to make videos, images, and presentations. I mean, that is so in-depth and so helpful. One more thing over here on the left side, if I select mind map, it gives me a breakdown and a mind map of this information. Now I can zoom in and see how all of this information information within the conversation or the audio file, how it's all related. And one more little trick I want to show you up here on the top right, you can select vocabulary. This is another feature that other AI note taking apps don't have. Basically, you can add terms or words that transcription tools usually mess up. I don't know if it's the way I say ChatGPT, but it always transcribes it incorrectly. So I can use this, set the words that are frequently used, and I won't have that problem. Okay, this next AI tool offers massive time savings. I'm talking about deep research tools from both ChatGPT and Google Gemini. ChatGPT's deep research feature gives you in-depth results. I've also found it to better understand what it is that you're asking the AI to do compared to Gemini's deep research. But Gemini deep research is free, so so I wanted to include it here. Both are invaluable when it comes to boosting productivity. In fact, research tasks are one of the best things you can hand over to AI in order to save time. Think market and competitor research, product research, current events and news analysis, academic or literature review. You get the idea. There's a lot you can do with it. To access this feature inside ChatGPT, simply type your prompt, or what you want to research and click the button that says deep research. But remember, the AI tool alone will only get you so far. To get the best results from deep research, it's all about asking in layers. Think of it like giving instructions to a capable intern. Here's a go-to formula for prompting deep research. For example, do a deep research report on AI-powered note-taking tools. I want you to find the top note-taking and transcription apps by number of users. Format your answer with tables for for comparison. Use only credible sources from the last two years and cite them clearly. You can also add things like compare multiple viewpoints, summarize expert opinions versus sentiment, or highlight surprising insights or trends. ChatGPT then scans hundreds of websites, journals, and studies to provide detailed, customized research in minutes. Businesses are already using this at scale. A SaaS startup, for example, needed a comprehensive analysis of competitors' growth strategies, pricing, and customer reviews. ChatGPT Deep Research synthesized data from LinkedIn, Trustpilot, and G2, producing a detailed report in under 30 minutes. That process typically takes a human analyst several days. And remember, if you're not able to pay the $20 a month for ChatGPT, you can use Google's Gemini Deep Research, which is gratis, free, it's free.
You can save even more time by combining that research with this next AI productivity tool, Notebook LM. If you haven't heard of Notebook LM yet, it's a free tool from Google that helps you understand, organize, and generate insights from documents and materials. Let me show you. We'll copy the report we created using deep research and paste it into Notebook LM. Now let's say we wanted to add graphs and charts to our research. That's where this next AI tool comes into play. Meet Napkin AI. This tool creates visuals from your text. Just type, copy paste, or generate your text with AI, and Napkin instantly transforms it into insightful visuals. I use Napkin to quickly create on-screen visuals for YouTube videos like this. Go to napkin.ai in your browser. Create a free account. Yup, this AI tool is also free. Click the new Napkin button from the top left of the screen. Once you select new Napkin, you get three options. Draft with AI, which will let you type in a top and it will generate content with AI. If you have a PDF with the information, you could import that from your computer or simply a blank napkin. Since I copied and pasted the Nota key features from our PDF, I'm gonna select blank napkin and then I'm just going to paste that in. When you hover your cursor to the left, you'll see this lightning bolt and then just tap and it's going to scan that content and create visuals that we can choose from that are representative of that content. We have an overview of all of the elements coming together to enhanced meeting productivity. We have a SWOT analysis, live meeting capture bot analysis, Nota AI features overview. There's just so many options to choose from. And then you could pull this into Canva and quickly animate the features. So then you have a motion graphic, super cool. I'm gonna select this one, click it to select it, and now I can export it to all of these different file formats, PDF, PowerPoint, SVG, PNG. I usually like PNG for visuals, but if you hover the mouse over each of these, it tells you what they're ideal for. For example, a PDF is ideal for printing, archiving, or universal sharing, but I'm gonna do a PNG. And then these other settings down here, napkin logo on or off, then color mode, you can select light or dark. I usually go with light and I always go with the background off because I like to pull it into Canva and animate the different layers and resolution 3X. And then you just select download and it will automatically download to your computer. And maybe YouTube isn't your thing, but there are dozens of other use cases for this tool. I'm circling back to ChatGBT here because I can't talk about time savings without mentioning GBT with scheduled tasks. This is an often overlooked feature of ChatGBT that when used correctly can not only save you time, but also money. I've set up a weekly scheduled task that automatically prompts ChatGPT every Thursday afternoon to search the latest local deals, discounts, and family-friendly events happening over the weekend near me. It scans through newsletters, local websites, and social media posts, and then delivers a neatly organized summary directly to my inbox. You can also use scheduled tasks with advanced voice mode to create custom reminders and automation. If you want to learn how to do that, check out this this video or this video. I always forget which side YouTube puts it on. One day I'll figure that out. Finally, I saved the best for last. Notion has legit changed the way I work, think, and organize. It's an all-in-one productivity tool that helps you organize, plan, and manage your work and personal life in a way that's customizable and unique to you. Full disclaimer, it can be overwhelming at first. That's because it combines features like note-taking, task management, databases, wikis, calendars, and more into a single adaptable workspace. But trust me, it's worth the learning curve. My advice is to start by exploring Notion's templates and choosing ones that are suited to your current workflow. Notion also has a robust free plan. Better still, every Notion account has free trial access to their AI. If you've used Notion before, you've probably noticed this friendly face in the bottom right corner. That's Notion's AI. If you click on it, you'll see a variety of options. Here's one easy way that I use it to save time. Reformatting, or turning unstructured data into organized data that we can actually use. For example, if I open this page with info about Nota, we see a lot of bullet points. We can select that text by simply clicking and 
dragging on screen. Next, we'll ask the AI to change those bullets into numbered lists. We can access the AI using the keyboard shortcut Control J or Command J on a Mac. In the prompt box, type change bullets to numbers. Notion's AI will always give you the choice to accept the changes, decline the changes, or retry with another prompt. I'll accept and voila! Imagine how much time just this one simple AI trick in Notion will save you. And there is so much more where that came from. The best part of these AI productivity tools is that they're incredibly easy to use. I've linked them all in the description so you can start using them right away to streamline your daily tasks. Remember, it's about finding the tools that complement, not complicate your current workflow. If you found this useful, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.